And then he's okay. going to shallow grave himself afterwards. I'm just going to let these two carry on because <laughs> uh, they're completely bemused by this particular draft. It's confused the hell out of our panel. I wonder if our commentary team have got any wise words. And they're actually TPing over. That's uh, now three heroes in mid, allowing the rolling ball to come forward. Puppy under attack with the Mystic Snake. He's trying to reach Roshan for a deny. Almost impossible to do so. Nisha able to actually get that first blood for the double Wraith Band build at the start. Does this make a lot of sense? Puppy gonna body block up quickly. Just over onto Alicia. Falco wants to help out. Quick kick and able to do that. The zone is being dropped. They're trying to get rid of it. That won't happen. Not when Sol Rib's there to keep it alive. Medusa, she can take out the Ancients, she can farm up stacks. She's great at farming, and then, so you need someone else to cover up that space yep. because Drow is going to be looking to take down those T1s ASAP. Team Seeker looking for the Medusa, but they won't find him instead. Easy rotation to miss, and that vantage lasts a long time. Quick stun and a purification partner. Losing so much life so quickly with the rolling ball to forward. They have enough damage to get the kick in before Yamsaw can get the double stun. Undying has dropped the tombstone. So more Undying minions will come to help find this one, but Partos. See that ward right. Yeah, they're they're right on top of it, and they smoke right on top of it as well. So they can set up a trap right here. Are they Sit actually doing the Roshan themselves? Are they going for they're, Medusa? They're, they're, they're definitely going to know. Oh, they're not there within man. a few seconds. They're, they're doing Roshan. Yeah. So I, Puppy holding the tombstone for the moment. They actually have their own medallion. It's not fast though. And now there's but, the dire scan. But they're inside the pit. So it's not pinged up just yet. Here comes the Medusa. Running straight in. Observer Ward is up right now. The team seekers. They do see what's coming in. The Gus on the back line is by Guardian Angel. Three heroes locked together. Team Secret. The damage is so hard. Why when the only night goes point blank range, purifying the evil sins that was Team Secret's attempt to go for Roshan. Three heroes lost. There shall be no rebuttal for this. Lion can do absolutely nothing. And even rolling ball to fall, maybe the Lion can do something. It's called dying. Hit by the Mystic Snake, Yamsaw's dropping low, the attacks from Nisha will do it. Chip away at 15% of her mana. She even, he even took the 414 build on the Lion. And that drain was still an effective puppy on the run. And Gus tries to create space again, won't work. This Dusa is unstoppable. Yep. So we'll see just how, how hard Team Secret want to try and commit again. Another stun into a drain. Four star breaks the range. In to bring the OD back to front line so these abilities of Team Z can be more handled. Nisha just goes straight in. The damage on the Yamsol with the kick control is too good for King One. They have the creep wave with them and reset the position. Fortification being triggered by Team Secret. Full defense for the moment. And that TP4 is a dying coming in. Not the right time for it. Nisha, there you go again. Turn on the stone gaze. Gets them to run away. And all they want to do, break down the tower, expose the racks. Even a creepway pushing through bottom. A team secret. Dazzle. I think they're getting wrapped around right. themselves into the back line. Just the Medusa right on top of the Absol. Part of a reveal. They have to keep these stuns chaining off. It's a three man ravage, which isn't too bad. They've managed to get through most of Nisha's mana, but even then, that's not enough. The tombstone is lost. The OD comes, well, Puppy comes back out. The OD's imprisonment. Earn charge ticking down on the drone. Ranger Ace down to 6 HP. Able to survive and needs to TP home whenever he can find a safe place, and he does find that place. Well, he will be sad with themselves because right now if they play this right team secret should get absolutely nothing yep and yeah so well, okay three men up playing right they sit through the rear they try to come in from behind and now well bkb's get triggered ace is the main man they're hunting rolling ball to forward four of them on him the troy ranger will fall one minute without her and team secret well, they tried to pin some Kingwood, and all they're going to end up doing is losing this game. Puppy is so low, Nisha just gets pushed in, and the buybacks, they all don't exist. Okay. GG, well played. 32 minutes, two kills for Team Secret to the full team of Kingwood. Okay, yesterday I saw four putt. Today I saw a core dazzle just solo a Drow Ranger. I've seen everything. <laughs> this is officially. This is, this is the new one. Nice strat. Yeah, dazzle, dazzle one position. What right now? What what is there? Like uh, enchant a uh, panda? Uh, 
nullifier. Does anything else dispel? Instead, he backs off, lets the fight go out as Farda skewers in, rotating in towards the mid lane, gets skewed, actually just glimpsed away. Doesn't save the hero who does the glimpsing, disruptor caught in the river. It just took yeah. a little too long. Now, Ravage, Farda, well, thanks for coming, the wall won't hold him there, but it won't matter when you've got a lot of help from Karkle. Hashtag so, efficiency. So little clean. The Necro is just adding more pressure to the bottom lane, trying to force someone to come back because he knows and Puppy, finally that wall up the hill pays off a Fissure of three men from, from Yapsol, helping out the Glimpse, pulls him back in, and there's so much stolen damage from the Onisha. 66 stolen, and people can't stop that. And Karko was just a little bit too far away to lend the Shuriken Toss. And now they go again. The wall onto Yapsol. Stolen damage going to work. Then again, Yamsol with a little bit of extra control, they get the vision on the other side of the tree line. Oh no, so the track will fall, and now the scythe oh, dropping deaths. onto Farta. These deaths are painful deaths. Not only are you reapered, you you just got tracked too. Oh man, <laughs> 1200 gold for two kills when they're already oh, ahead. And, and another, another one. Oh my Three goodness. heroes into that track kill. Well played, affirmative. They, I agree. They are probably so happy they got this amount of track gold. Holy cow. Looking for a shot into the mid, get the vision, wait for the glimpse back into the wall as well as Storm. It's, it's almost too easy. No track though, so they know that Bounty Hunter is stalking them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. and that's good, why that they dropped really down the call. sentry, Fiend script, they need more damage, and Bounty... Oh, he walks into oh, the sentry ward. He also doesn't skill Mana Void, which they did without the cover of smoke. And then straight back up to the next camp. Wall is there, they got the vision, they got the track. And Glimpse, yeah, come on back over. And they need the damage. Hey, Mana Void skilled up. Absolutely ineffective. Where's the damage? Uh, doesn't exist. Now Yamsel's gonna try and bring it. Okay, there it is. And the Echo Slam follow up. A Nightmare just to hold him in position and allow Yamsel a little bit more prep at the Scythe of Vice. Yeah, need bone dry. Oh, almost bone dry. Glimpse, Farda being pulled back over. Got a little bit, little bit of extra mana, but it wasn't enough. Solrix back off cooldown right now. He can burn if he wants to, but he's too low for it to work. So Ace starts his run forward. They need that movement speed to allow the trap to escape. Won't happen. Into the trees. He'll go down. They lost the Bounty Hunter. Meanwhile, all the while, Tide Hunter has just been pushing and farming out bottom lane and practically has his Blink Dagger. It was a big deal that he didn't have runs along with having uh, impending Ravage. Team Secret would have to give that respect, but. No respect given. Now the Ravage is back up. Rod of Atos and the side They really hate CTY. As they should. That's a long time down. Ooh, Ooh. that is. Yeah, that is really That's long. A, well, he's gotten so many levels. Like, didn't they buff the. No, they say they buffed it. They technically nerfed it for anyone who's dead after level 12. The death timers are even longer now. That probably just kind of slipped his mind that they didn't have Ravage. Because a big team fight just happened on top, so. Yeah. Oh, run of oh, no. We're going Why? again. Puppy on the front lines. Hello, track kills? Yeah, they're coming thick and fast. <laughs> Sick crack <and> shells. <laughs> and, and the step before pushing high ground is picking up the AM. How do they actually pick up the AM? Two silver edges, bounty hunter to give, him vi give them vision. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're liking the burst, though. How do you actually get him into Reaper range really quickly? You have to probably go Ravage, but... Oh, ace again. Glimpsed away any target he wants to go and he can't do it. Puppy's dying to the lightning storm. Gets a little bit of extra distance and that's a lot of life up his sleeve. They break off the bristle bag, but Fiend Scrap, here comes your Ravage. It actually clips all the way down to the bristle bag. Two heroes lost. Ace moves over. They clips to get a little bit of extra space once more. And Nisha, first all in damage. You can start it up now onto Ace, but Ace won't last that long. The track movement has been, and the Shuriken toss with so much spilling gold out, so much damage. Perfect Ravage. Yeah. Being able to see a little bit more with the Aegis, but they lost their window. They're going to have to deal with AM with... Ooh, he's going for BKB next. Interesting. Well, I must really want to fight. Exotic Deer is on the run. Where's that detection? There it is. Letting off the dust. You've still got Ghost Route 17 one charge to the Death Pulse. Getting the kill is going to be difficult to say the least. And support arrives in from Ace. And there's your control support wrapping in from behind. They get a kill off the Necro. And the RP from Bada catching on two. They got the clean damage. And King with the loose three. Two of them going the way of CTY. They almost got.
up the fourth of the drop the TPing out. Think about the next play for Kingwood. How do they actually want to approach this? Do they just want to brute force Roche and take, and use a Tidehunter to uh, bully them into taking him fight? Hmm. Do they want to try and pick off the AM or someone else who's very crucial to their team? So oh, they they're can... finding the pick off right now. They're all AM sitting behind them. Though. In mid and AM blinks into Exotic Deer. Rod of Atos. They go quickly for the side and they put him down. A hundred seconds on the sideline. The, wow. re the return was the fact that Bounty Hunter died, but you glimpse back in farther. They have more than enough damage to kill off the Magnus. No buyback available for him. Say hello to Spell Shield. <laughs> They don't have any vision. The ward just got taken down by the gem on yep. the Tidehunter, and they had to deal with Tidehunter, who had massive amounts of items. But they know what's going on. The tier 2 tower is not being defended. This is their last Kingwood play. Are pushing out, they need pushing this. out mid. And we'll see exactly what they can do. Ace has the blade mail, hoping that maybe someone from Kingwood would kill themselves on him. I th uh, CTY moving forward, looking into the pit. They put down a fresh Observer Ward. Partos with that gem did see the Observer Ward on the hillside. And Karkor, oh, they catch him. So Bounty Hunter is down. No extra money for him, but Roshan so low. Ravish, trash creates space. They need to finish Roshan. He is so close to death at the moment. Bashing onto Razor. Maybe CTY. It goes the way of King One. Both the Aegis plus the kill on Roshan. Not to mention the Storm. A scythe of vice putting Ace down. He is dead for two minutes. And yet, Saw in through the rear. Gets the Echo Slam off. However, once again, he's only really getting a support. And with the Rick and Bale. And the Plasma Field is too much damage for him to sustain through. You buy back, but there's no Echo Slam. No AM. No Bristleback. <sighs> oh, boy. Well, great positioning by Tide, I would say. It was just like, you can't come into this pit. Or else you will get pummeled by a three-man Ravage. Maybe even more. There's your buyback on CT. Why? Fortification, we all get blinded. Oh, wait! Did he just get glimpsed all the way back to Rishan? Because <laughs> he pulled back that soon. He goes all the way back, Barter now, nice RP, catching out a couple of friends. Question is, is the damage going to be enough? Nietzsche gets the cheese off the science. It doesn't kill off the anti mage but it brings him pretty close with anyway in the glimpse. Get back over here. It's time for a bear hug and it's time for the GG call. Nietzsche with a triple kill. Team Secret being 2 0 by Kingwood. Kingwood will guarantee themselves a spot in the main bracket. They already had that anyway. But their results are beautiful, and Team Secret now have to 2 0 newbie in the final game of today in order to stay alive, in order to not get knocked out. I have to applaud Team King, King, King Win's teamwork. It, well, not one player stood out, it was just a little bit of everything all around, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, their supporters played fantastically all game. They, they just were so good at killing the AM. Like, yeah. so good and without the normal tools, too. Yeah. It seemed like like all you had to do was just walk up. There there weren't these big long cooldown ultis that you had to use. It wasn't just scythe. It was it was the silver edge into base damage.